like, uh, what would you guys do if you guys won the veto? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, do you think you could take us one? You could take one of us down? I'm like, yeah, it's a conversation we could have. But like, I gotta talk to Keith. I gotta, we gotta figure out what happened. I don't even know who's picked yet. I don't know. And they were talking about like, what would they do with House Guest Choice? Um, they're just talking about scenarios like they don't know who would pull them down, and they feel that he feels that we're close with you, so they feel that if we were the only duo, if we won, you wouldn't put the other one up. So he's just like. He's trying to explore that option and see if it's possible. And I'm just like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, you you tell him to pick you. Down? You should tell him to pick you. You think I'll pull him down? Are you out of your mind? I don't think you'd pull him down. Hell no. Why would you? You make no sense. That, that's, that's the audacity. You know what it is? It's just like. I guess they're just desperate now, that's, right? That's their, that's their only play. Yeah, it is their only play. Because the reality is, everybody ha would have to sacrifice their other. Except Vic, actually. Yeah. I think Vic would probably be a better play for them. They'd have to have some value to Vic. Vic would be the only one, actually, <clears throat> that could win and pull them down without really any repercussion. I don't even care if she does. I really don't. No, me neither. But she does, she doesn't have a another. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have like somebody else. Yeah. But yeah, he was trying to figure out like, oh, what would you guys do if you want? Like, well, we can talk about it, but not even picked yet. It's not picked. I don't even think honestly. I don't even think Jed and I get picked. I'd be surprised. It's possible, but anything's possible. It's possible. I'm not getting picked. Kyle's not getting picked. Rose's not getting picked. That leaves you, Jed, Beth, Tara, Tina, Austin, and Bray. I just feel like somehow it works out that people that who haven't competed will compete. That's fine. But if one of them pull themselves off, I don't care. Like, I just, if I cared, I'd be stressing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't look worried. Somebody's going home and that's going against us. Like, that shit Austin pulled yesterday, going to them, like, being frantic and, like, talking with them, that's hella sus to me. Mm-hmm. He tried to say that it's because, well, they're really warm-hearted people. <coughs> Nobody's warm-hearted day 21. Get the hell out of here. Oh, you asked him about that? Jed did. Oh, really? Jed's just like, yeah, people were sketched out by Austin coming in the, in the ball pit right after you guys got nominated. He's like, yeah, they're just warm-hearted people. I'm like... Warm-hearted. I can't believe he would come up to you and ask you that after he's telling me he'd come for you guys. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? He's playing. Isn't that insane? It was more of a jury pitch, too. He's just like, listen, like, if you want anybody in jury, it's, you know, like, we're not going to, I think it comes to the end of the game, we're not going to vote with our emotions, we'll vote with our heads. And I'm like, Cool. And they picked me to win because I got their fucking asses out. Hmm? Um, you pick what? I said they might pick me to win. I got one of their fucking asses out. <laughs> fat dude from Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Like, I'm telling you, Todd. They told me multiple times that they are the only ones in this house that would be willing to make a big move on you guys. I believe you. 100% believe you. Like, it would make more sense for me to put probably Austin and Vic up and get Austin out because I really don't trust Austin and I think that if she were to win HOH I'd be up and potentially her target not saying that she'd be able to get me out but if I was up to next next to Beth or one of you two it would probably be literally it could be any of us and the thing is we don't want anything pointing in our direction period yeah no, well, you just, like, this whole thing makes sense right I think like I just got to make sure, like, we all have a good relationship with Austin so that in the event that her and Brayden do win going forward, they're not pointing in our direction either. Yeah, they take out somebody else. And if they are floater. pointing in our direction, if, worst case, they're only pointing out one of them. We need to hope that they take out a floater. I know. 
And I think they will. Yeah. Because the reality is there's more of us than them. Mm -hmm. It's getting to that point. It's it's pretty much at that point. If we have, like, I feel very confident I have Tarantino as well, no matter what. So if we if we get one of them to go home this week, then the, if the target, if in worst case scenario we don't win next week, the target should be a floater. Mm-hmm. Vic, Tara, Tina, Braden, or Austin. That's why I've been working to try to get them to turn against each other. In this POV ceremony, if one of them wins, I'll be like, Oz, I was like, they're telling me to put you up. Like, they're saying that we could get you out, that you were saying all this crazy shit about me. And I could do the same shit to Vic. Vic, everyone's telling me to put you up. Everyone, they want me to backdoor you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? No, it's... It's good. This is good. I'm in a good position. <laughs> oh, man. The fakeness kills me, Keith. Kills me. Me use the veto on... <laughs> On them. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs>